Hey fire signs, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back to do you guys elements energy checkup for this new moon in Pisces. Are you guys energy popping or what? Is you guys intuition popping or what? Is y'all emotions running high? I don't know. I don't know how this is affecting everybody else, but you know, epiphanies are happening all over the place. High Priestess energy is showing up at everybody reading. It don't matter what their zodiac sign is. So let's see what the energy is going to pull up for you guys. If you guys haven't already joined the Soul Tribe, please go ahead and do so by hitting that beautiful red button that says subscribe. And ring that bell. Leave your comments and opinions down below. Give this a big fat thumbs up. Now let's get straight into this video. It didn't fall, but it, I knocked it off the table. I'm sorry. One more. We got resilience here. So you guys could be really heavy, carrying a heavy load. And I feel like you guys are almost to the end of this cycle, whatever it may be. That's kind of difficult for you guys at, at this time. Maybe you guys are working super hard. Um, but right now you could be feeling like you're climbing an uphill battle. But that's the, the reason why you guys this are kind of essentially in this 10 of wands energy is because... The things that you've been wishing, hoping, and working so hard for and like things that normal people wouldn't be able to overcome or the typical person wouldn't be able to overcome. I feel like you guys are handling that with such effortless energy. Like you guys are just, I don't know. I'm going to use the Deviant Moon Tarot to go ahead and um, man, I'm trying to figure out what is this in here? Oh, yeah, this is kind of crazy because it's like in here, it looks like octopus arms. So maybe you've had to wear many hats. I just feel like you've just been struggling. And then I ain't even talking about struggling, struggling, because maybe you're doing very well financially, fire signs, sun, moon, rising, Venus for this new moon in Pisces. But I do feel, what did I say? Juggling a lot. Maybe you guys are like working two jobs or you're paying all the bills right now. You have to really balance your finances, balance situations, um, juggling a lot of responsibilities. But I definitely feel like you guys have a heavy load on y'all back. And it's like y'all have to wear many hats. Okay, y'all have to be the decision maker here. There's the lovers that also represents a loving connection as well as... The fool in reverse here, okay? So, oh, I don't know if this is foolish behavior or if this is just the la a lack of a new beginning for somebody. Let me scoot up because I'm tired of them falling. You know, I feel like you're taking action at this time. And maybe that's why all the heaviness is here is because you've been working hard for some type of change. Like, you haven't been caring what you got to put in. But I don't know. It could be literally that you're leaving behind a um like a longer term situation because we got the lovers here the fool in reverse and then communication towards another type of soulmate unless this is the same person and y'all exhibit signs of the lovers as well as two of cups which is hands down a soulmate connection here and maybe you resisting you know maybe you've been through so much maybe you carried so much that at this time you don't even realize that Everything that you hoped, wish, and dreamed for as it pertains to a love connection or, you know, the perfect job or, you know, just the perfect situation is coming to fruition now. And you can barely, like, I don't even think that you're ready to accept the change. Like, you've been hoping and wishing and praying for it, but I don't think you're accepting it. Like, okay, is this really real? Yes, it's real. You got yourself to this point. You manifested this to fruition, and that's why fruition is coming out. And it came out after resilience because it's like you persevered through everything. You continue to work through the hardest of times here. Um, I see that things do end up becoming clearer. You start to accept that, yes, you are just actually reaping the benefits, reaping the blessings of all your hard work and diligence and resilience. Okay? Your resilience, your brilliance. You was at a point of feeling a loss. Maybe you still going through a loss and that's the reason why you don't see the sun. Leo energy right here. King of Swords energy. That's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. You are showing up as yourself as the King of Wands. Um, Aries is also here with the Fool in reverse. So all we missing is really Sag. You know, I feel like 
So, yeah, that's the thing. I feel like you guys have been overburdened by, like, chores, responsibilities, jobs, whatever the case it is. But I feel like you handled this so effortlessly, and now you're being granted a gift by the universe. I feel like while you was doing this, you could have also been suffering from some kind of loss, some kind of depression, because I see the Five of Cups here, as well as the Sun in Reverse, which is definitely indicative of some type of emotional, either emotional loss or delay on happiness or somebody essentially just feeling like, you know, they just, they at the end of their rope with something here. Like somebody just want to break through. It's like, how many losses do I have to take before I take a gain? What you just don't even realize that your gain is right around the corner. Okay, why is the Two of Pentacles here for fire signs? Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Fires? We got the Thought in Reverse. I don't even know if I'm going to take it in the Reverse, too. <laughs> Thoughts and Family here. Hmm. Why is the lovers here? So this is definitely, you know, maybe you've been working this hard for a relationship. It's an abrupt ending here. So it's a possibility that you could have been working this hard because you know that a specific something could have been coming to an end. And you didn't want to, you wanted to spare yourself the despair, spare yourself the poverty. Why is the... Seven of Cups here. Yeah. You know what? You clear about how things are now. I feel like in the process of you like working a lot, maybe things kind of fell apart at home and, and with your family. Um, things suddenly ended, but here's the kicker. And you might have not even know, known that, that was, this was coming to the end, especially with the tower showing up. But here's the kicker. All that hard work paid off for you in the end. So unfortunately, you could be... Wow. Yeah, it's definitely a gift from the universe here. You have all the tools that it takes in order to succeed outside of this situation. So, of course, at this time, if you're feeling at a loss of your family, Leo's, Leo masculine energy, if you're feeling at some kind of loss, or it could be um, a masculine energy that's bringing forth this giving to you at this time, that's gifting you this fruition. But I do feel like you earned it. Fire signs. Why is the five of cups here? Yeah. I feel like you guys are moving clean, clear away from pain. Things that disappoint you. Um, so something could have possibly happened in this family sector. And it's looking like maybe you was working so much or somebody was juggling between you and somebody else, and now you feeling at a loss because of it, or this could be you doing this to somebody else, fire signs. Why is the eight of wands here? Somebody got caught communicating with a new lover. All right. Caught on some sneaky behavior. Maybe at work. I feel like your partner was on to you, fire signs. <laughs> or you was on to your partner because they wasn't really putting in the work like they used to. Like they wasn't showing you that much attention. They wasn't acting as if your needs mattered as much as they should anymore. So I definitely, with the occupation in reverse, I definitely feel as though you kind of noticed it. But I put it in the upright. So I, I feel like the blame is going to be you work too much. You work too much, but at the same time, you was generous to this person. You know, you could have possibly took them on trips and everything. Now I feel like all the secrets that's coming out, you no longer resisting the transformation. Because maybe you felt this a long time ago. For some odd reason, I feel like it's happening to the masculine. I don't feel like it's the masculine that's cheating. There was a lot of confusion and illusion here. Why is the King of Swords here? For Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Listen, you made a decision, a head over heart decision 
um, fire signs to set yourself free from a situation. You wanted this to go the distance. I feel like you, you could have been working hard for you guys to go on a vacation or anything. And maybe this person didn't even know that. And now it's like, literally you going from being burdened to actually being able to see the fruits of your labor because little do they know why you was working so hard. It was for the connection. It was for the family. And now your stuff is getting ready to come to fruition here. And you know, who knows how they're going to be left. But at, at the same time, who cares too, you know? Why is the sun here in reverse? Yeah. Like, the reason why it depresses you so much is because you didn't even see it coming. But honestly, you don't even know that you got wish fulfillment coming behind this. This was essentially a blessing in disguise, um, fire sign. So... You know, take your time to heal because, of course, upon anybody losing a, a relationship situation, they going to feel, you know, really, really hurt about it. So I do hope that you guys properly heal from this. And I know you will because you got so much blessings coming in for yourself. But um, like the video up if it resonated. Even if it didn't, just give your girl a like. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.